Sponsored by Wing Wing Technologies, one of the highest button counts in the industry. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. A few days ago we put out this video. Could USA operate stealth aircraft F-22 and F-35 fighter bombers in eastern Ukraine with secrecy and impunity? The idea was that we would send F-35s and F-22s into the east side of Ukraine, the Donetsk region we've chosen, and could we do what we wanted to do? Shoot down bombers, shoot down fighters, attack ground targets without the worry of being shot down. It went amazingly well. Myself and five other Grim Reapers went in there. In these fighters, we shot down 14, 14 aircraft and returned without losing any. A 14 to 0 kill ratio in Grim Reapers is literally unheard of. We landed and we checked out the debrief replay. In there, it made sense. I accidentally, in my wisdom, forgot to activate the hostile fighters. So it turns out we were just fighting against 14 bombers, which barely had the ability to defend themselves. So that was my bad. I apologize. Now we're going to fix that. We are going back into the Donetsk region. And this time, Russia definitely has its best frontline fighters activated. I'm not going to bother with the Russian bombers because we've looked at that already. We're going to look at the Russian frontline fighters. First, let's look at the overview map. We are operating from East Poland. We're going to be traveling about six or 700 miles to the Donetsk Mariupol region. And you can see our combat area that we've actually got simulated here, 250 kilometers by 150 kilometers. Note the AWACS positions that we've plotted out from Flight Tracker. Note also the S-400 Russian known positions. A point of note, radar cross sections are very important when it comes to these simulations. I like to declare these radar cross sections so you can repeat these tests if you want. Today we're using with the F-22 Raptor, we're just using the F-22 today for simplicity, not the F-35. F-22 is a better air-to-air -air fighter. A radar cross section of 0 0.005 meters squared. You can see that correlating there. This gives us a rough detection range of 10 miles from an Su-35S frontline fighter and he can fire at about six or seven miles. S-400, as we've tested before in a previous testing video, zero miles. For some reason, we can't get the early version of the S-400 tracking us at all, so be it. A-50 AWACS with the most powerful radar today, Russian AWACS, about 30 to 40 miles. It can see us and vector hostile Russian planes towards us. If that sounds like a lot, it's not. It can see non-stealthy aircraft. Well, if it's a big aircraft, 500, 600 miles away. So it is a very small detection range. And today's actual simulation. Here is our zone. Note, due to terrain restrictions in game, we've had to move everything 300 miles southeast. Let's look at us first because it's easier. We're taking off from this base here, simulating Poland. We're flying the simulated 700 miles, so all the way up here just to simulate the range. We're hitting a tanker in a simulated Moldova, and then we're heading into the combat area. Note, we have an AWACS as, according to real life, the closest NATO AWACS to the area. It is over 300 miles away from the nearest small aircraft, and it almost certainly will not detect them. The ranges in our simulator for an AWACS detection is about 300 nautical miles for a small sized non-stealth aircraft. So it probably will not detect these fighters in the Donetsk region. The Russians today are fielding two S-400 sites on the border. They are a non-factor. We know they're a non-factor because we've tested stealth against them and they don't work. So to be honest, we might as well just switch them off. Out of interest, their range is massive. Look, that is their 400 kilometer range ring halfway across a simulated Ukraine. It's ridiculous, but you can pretty much ignore them. Next, current airborne threat. Would you have this many fighters active in this area? Probably not, but we want to make it a challenge and exciting for you. Three pairs of Su-35S airborne. One pair, two pair, three pair in Ukraine beyond the Russian border. Also, 12 here at Rostov-on-Don, QRA ready to scramble when they detect the first sign of a stealth US aircraft operating. They are armed with modernized adders, very dangerous weapons, long range missiles, and close range modernized Lima R-73 Archer. Next, because you guys have asked for this, two MiG-31 interceptors armed with four R-33, two R-40R. Finally, because I read the comments from the previous video and I'm just following your suggestion, you want a Su-57. Would an Su-57 actually fight? No idea, but it will. You guys have made various claims that it is not stealthy in real life, and maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong, I don't know. But in-game, I can tell you it is stealthy. It's about the same as the Raptor, so that's what we're going to go with, right? He's up and he's patrolling. 
he will be pretty much just as invisible as us with two K77 mics and two modernized archers. So that's a total of six airborne SU-35s, one SU-57, two MiG-31s and 12 ground-based SU-35Ss. That's plenty for us today. Today we have a relatively small force of me, Damp, Grump, Matrix and Cannibal 5. Say hello boys. Hello. Hello boys. Hello. hello. And finally us we're just starting at an analog here of our poland we're gonna have six aim 120 c5s because that's the best we can have at the moment we can't carry the delta models in game or the c7s it's just how it is so we'll suck it up fine and a couple of aim 9x block ones uh, we're gonna hit the tanker we're gonna come back with our remaining fuel and fight the baddies it's important to say that apart from against the sams we don't really know how we're going to fare here. We're not testing it. As usual, we're not scripting it. I should say, disclaimer, please be aware. The Americans may lose this. We just play it as it is. So be aware of that, please. Any predictions, guys? I still think we'll clean the floor with them. Yeah, I completely agree with the Apart from the SU-57, we can see them, and they kind of can't see us. The, the best chance the Russians have is if their very powerful AWACS out here sees us, with its search radar, it could theoretically and would vector the fighters onto us, which can then engage us in visual range and fire their IR close range missiles. So that is theoretically possible. And if it does happen, it can actually be very dangerous, especially if we miss it. Ah, one final point. Sorry, before we got on this, we are missing data link. So data link would be given to us via this AWACS here. We would see all these guys, the position of them and send it to us in our Raptors. It won't work because it's out of range, as it is in real life. Now, you guys have come back to me and said, well, Cap, the thing is, a Raptor and an F-35 would actually take sources from other donors as well, like satellites. I don't know anything about that. That's way beyond my understanding, to be honest. But either way, none of that's modelled in-game anyway, so it doesn't matter. We are going to be going in blind apart from our own radar. So let's see how it goes and wish us luck. Welcome in to our military base in the east of Poland. Guys, let's taxi to the runway. Uh, turning onto runway already. No, that's a taxiway. No, that's the runway. <laughs> We're professionals, don't you know? I hear a super cap's an excellent driver. Um, you heard wrong. Okay, I am lining up. Mama said I could become anything, so I became an FAA re a regulation violator. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe not. We'll, we'll hold off on that for a second. Okay, boys. Wall brakes on and spool. Release three, two, one, go and reheat. And rotate. Get up, flaps up, and there's a sexy screenshot. All right, guys, we've got a long journey ahead of us to the tanker. We'll report in there. Welcome back. We've traversed north to south Ukraine. We're now over Moldova, and we're going to start looking for the tanker. Contact established. I'm going nose warm to find the tanker. The rest of you can just follow me. Should be right off our nose. Yep, 25 miles off the nose, guys. Hey okay, guys, get your doors open now before we forget. The door open. Hey, valley viewers, welcome back. We're mating with the tanker now. He's flying really weird and we don't know why. So we'll just have to do our best. <laughs> right. It's going to be interesting. We're getting um, contacts from the AWACS. The AWACS, we think, can see the enemy AWACS, which is actually quite annoying, but let's see if I remember how to uh, fill the old jug. Oh my uh, god, we're up radar spike? Uh, oh dear, that's not It was just one of the boys. Oh my god, he's completely changed what he's doing. Whoa!
That's not SOP. Okay. I think he's gone <coughs> going defensive. Can't be. Can you guys? Someone just have a scan around with your radar. Make sure so the Russia the. You, uh, the Russians haven't found us. That's an unusual thing to happen, I'm not gonna lie. We did add uh, MiG-31s in here, it could be their powerful radars. Yeah, I, mm, yeah, maybe. We're so far away, we were hundreds and hundreds of miles. It seems weird. Yeah, yeah I have nothing you. on RWR. I have nothing on 160 mile scan. Alright, ignore it then. I'm just saying it might be screwing with the tanker. Watch out. You leave my tanker alone. Days. Refueling is just hard, valued viewers. What you can do about it. I wish you could get an F3 of this. I will. Almost full, guys. Almost full. Are we going to all the way to full? Roger. Cap breaking off. I got like 95%, I think that'll do. Who's up next? Rump. Well, off you go. Well, you're hitting a tanker at 30,000 feet at 70 knots, and to do that, you're having to maintain a 20 degree AOA. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it really is hard. I used it with my air breakout, I found it much easier. So today, we've got the tanker running really weird, Valley Viewers, really high, really slow. So that was why it was so hard. I had to maintain a massive angle of attack. I doubt they would ever do this in real life, but it's interesting and a good practice. Look at Grump's, who is it? Is it Grump? Yeah, from. Look at his angle of attack, it's crazy. You got your air brake on? Negative. Good mm -hmm. choice. Yeah, you need to go up and forward just a little. You green on the lights? Yep. Oh, he's got you, he's got go. you, he's got you. Oh, he's so slow. You got it. A real challenge, valued viewers. This aircraft is not designed to fly this slow. Trim it all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to trim this as well. I'm doing it uh, ACS override, FCS override, by the way, guys. Yeah, I had to because the, the AOA is just too high. You got your in. You're in. Okay, Grant, that's enough for you. We don't want to run the tanker dry. Abort, Copy. please. Um, man three, uh, sign up. the right please Grump. Who's calling in? Simba will call in. Simba. Yeah, because Raptor can carry so much fuel uh, value fuels we can't go all the way to the top because we'll actually run the tanker out fuel so we've got to we've got to share equally but we can cruise extremely efficiently um, so we won't use much of that fuel up. And fueling does take a long time, takes a long time in real life as well. Which is how it is. Nice Simba first time. I couldn't do that. Someone's been practicing their Raptor. Okay, Simba, that's you done. Off, please. Man four, go. Copy, Saka. Okay, that's it. Tanker dry, last man done. Off the nozzle, please. Matrix, guys. Otherwise, follow me. We are heading towards our target area. Long cruise. Off the burner.
Welcome back. We are now entering the hostile area, about 100 miles away from what we'd call the front line of Donetsk. Let's start getting our same plane set up. Check, check, check. Cap going nose warm. In real life, we've got Aesa radars. In game, we don't, but it's the best we've got. Okay, wingman pairs, Cap, Grump. We're going to head 070 at 350 CAS. Can we have Sock, Simba, 090? State co altitude. Can we have Matrix Cannonball 110 one, operating your pairs? And we'll see what happens. Currently, radar clear. Pair one. This is very exciting, Valley viewers, because I know as much about what's about to happen as you. Can the SU 35s really see us? Will it change if we're in a formation? Will the AWACS see us? How far can it really see us at certain aspects? Will it pass that information on to the fighters? Will the fighters be good? Will they be bad? I don't know. I have no idea what's about to happen. I can see lots of airborne radars coming on now, so stuff is about to happen. Plus, we've got the SAMs and the 50 is the AWACS. Almost tended to shoot the AWACS. Wouldn't that be interesting? Safari SOC 1 2, still no radar contacts. Roger, don't worry too okay. much about the information from the AWACS. It's only telling us where the other AWACS is, I'm pretty sure. Grump's got nails. MiG 31, 12 o'clock. Biggest threats today? Oh. Uh, probably the SU-57 followed by the SU-35s. Operating wind man pairs today and deconvicting because it's just the safest thing for us to do. Cannonball contacts on the nose. Have you got them on radar? Oh, yeah. We've got ours on radar yeah. as well. we got two by contacts heading one nine, or sorry, zero nine five. Grump's got the top contacts. Right, that's heading. Eagles Grump. 28 and 35. Which one do you want me to take? Cap left. Up right. Socks, socks got right. Copy. Someone's got left. Forty miles. I got thirty-seven miles to target. Cans getting gaining some speed. I'm gonna go to no escape because I'm pretty sure they can't see us, Grump. I mean, it'd be amazing if they could. Sock breaking off right. Going combat right. Cap, cap. I'm gonna go uh, attack right to you. Oh, uh, secondary targets further on, so we'll blow. We'll take these and then blow through. Oh my God, we're spiked. We're spiked. Someone can see I'm, us. Uh, firing at 25. Yep, that is up box three. Wow. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Additional targets. Uh, both of them, Angels 33, 34. Which one do you want me to take? Rear or front? Rear, cap front. This is not expected. The MiG-31s can see us. Or whatever's firing at us. I don't know what's firing at us. SU-35, maybe? Target's awning. It looks like it went to... Box three. Shouldn't be possible. Right, this is going to be uglier than I thought. Okay, the guy's spiking us. There's actually someone to to the right. It must be the PACFAR. I can only think it's the PACFAR. Cap's target's going cold. Uh, no. mine's still going hot. Right. Concentrate on it. I'm gonna do a quick burn just to finish off my target and then I've got to find out Off what this main threat is. Cap approaching, no escape. Splash, 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 splash. One SU 35 down. Okay, let's Good reassess. Matrix, Fox 3. Okay, I'll go on Simple Fox 3 from 10. I'm turning left. Something spiking us from the left, Grump. I've got to find out what that is. Yep, okay, I've got new targets at zero, 070 zero, times 2. I could probably handle them myself, but... If you're Sox free... Oh, socks down. You eyes on that con. Let's go defensive. Splash it's just my radar. Everything else is good. Got, got TWS to the northeast. Two missiles That's out. That's thirty-five down. Rubs down. Oh my god, what's killing us? And how's it doing it? 235. It's, it's 
problematic at best. Shoot. I've got a good mind to get the hell out of here, Cap Splash. Shoot. I did warn you, Valley viewers. I warned you at the beginning. Right. I'm going to go radar cold. I've got to find out where, how I'm getting seen. Cap radar off. What the heck is going on here? Fair contacts. The F-35 must have some sort of super radar in these Cap clean, clean, clean. I beat the lock. Make sure it's uh, splash one. Well done. Cap recommitting. Shit! Ooh. Cap not clean. Okay. Yeah. Missiles coming from everywhere. Cap running. Oh my god, missiles coming from everywhere. This is not how it's supposed to be. I'm running away. We've got to run away and reassess. Oh my god, I'm here. What the hell's going on? So, I connection timed out. Uh. Is anyone still alive? Cannonball still alive. I mean, I'm gonna go in God mode, see what the heck's going on. Sock's still alive. I've got no radar or anything. I am Mark One Eyeball only and Fox Twos. Oh my god, this ain't good. Yeah, I think it's coming off. I think we're glitched. Something's going on here. The SU 35 can see us. Fox yeah, no, 3. Shot. Splash one. That was SU a pack fox. He's dead. No, he's dead. No, he's still alive, Matrix. Okay. You've got two, three more active bandits, and then you can get out of here, and we can call this a draw, guys. In fact, it'd still be a win, technically. Simba's allowed can to respawn, because he's, uh... Can I get a broad, uh, broad a target? I can't. It's cheating. Uh, I can tell you Matrix is engaged, and he's south of you by 10 miles. I can tell you that. I don't even know what direction. You don't know which way south is, Damp? Nope. It, my entire computer system is dead. Ah, right. Uh, there's nothing I can do to help you then. Damp RTB, Copy. try and save the jet. Copy. Saving jet. The SU-57 uh, got contact. shot and carrying on. God damn it. Contact. You know I have that guy cold. Euro 7, seven. Yep. This is problematic at best, guys. Cannibal right, 2 o'clock. Angels 20. Oh shit, Cannibal! Missile out. Ada coming in. Okay, Sock found an airfield. Sock, yeah. Uh, 8 o'clock for 15. Angels 8 is an SU-35. On your nose now, 5 bars. I think a PWS doesn't work. Should do. Everything should work. Well done. well done. Two hostiles, right. two friendlies. Right, Sock, right, merge. Yeah, TWS fired my uh, contact immediately when the we can still get a draw, guys. We can't win it per se, but we can still get a draw. Socks in by the contact. 50 miles, heading 115. Shoot us. It's Roger, target. Roger. Careful, damps around there, but go for it. Sock, your target is at Angels 11. Fox 3. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Some pride for Uncle Fox Sam. Fox 3. Yes, come on, guys. Missile's not tracking, uh, Sock. Fox 2 sock. Uh oh. The others are scrambling. We've got to kill this SU 57 to get the hell out, hell out of it. Shot, kill. Splash, SU 35. Roger. You know what? I'm going to keep. Take the fell on us. Take the fell on us. Oh, the fell on said. The fell on said. It's stalling out of the air. Guys, you're done. You're done. You're done. You've killed everything. Uh, RTB. Hopefully, got enough fuel. RTB due west. Due west. Damp. We'll just keep turning and I'll tell you when to stop. Copy. Wow, that was uh, harder than we thought. Damn, stop now. Mill power, off you go. Woo! That was weird. That was really weird. And the SU-57 just crashed. Woo! 
So that is a pack by dead as well. So we've killed. Bah, bah, bah. I mean, according to the scoreboard, we've killed two, four, six, seven. It was six SU 35s and one SU 57. What we killed. We didn't kill the uh, MiG 31s. They never entered combat because they've got, well, probably what is going to be more realistic radars. We did set these guys off and they are taxiing, but we are getting out of dodge. So they are not going to be a worry. I'm um, just waiting for our boys to get back now. Okay, the boys have found their way back. Uh, Damp no longer has a radar, which is interesting. So it's now following BFR Simba, which is uh, interesting. But it's a working Raptor still. Can't say it's not. My right, boys, go and land. That's an hold of. How does she handle sock? Radar failure. ACS failure. Right. That good. FTS failure. AOA failure. <laughs> she doesn't stop talking. That means Cadillac with a couple of misfires. Right ship in. Right ship November. All right, damp. Ground radar has you at 175 knots. Descending. Which side are you on? Left or right? Sock left. Trailing aircraft. Tower observes three good landing gears, two good flaps. Ground speed is 130 knots. All right, well, well done for at least bringing two back, guys. That was obviously not how we planned it. But that's the interesting thing. You just never know what's going to happen. Well done, boys. I will see you in debrief to see what the heck went on. Okay, welcome into debrief. Let's see what on earth went on here, because in heat of the moment, it's hard to know what went on. In fact, let's do the overall. First of all, we shot down one, two, three, we shot down six SU-35s and one PACFAR for the loss of four uh, Raptors. Uh, Simba had to respawn, but this because his game crashed, so that's that's fair play. Now, here's the thing: they shouldn't be able to do that. I'm going to pause it just as a debrief note already. Already, the SU-35 should not be able to track us and shoot us. And now we know this because we've tested this extensively in single uh, with humans on both sides. As a human, in SU-35, you can only see this guy at 10 miles, and you can only shoot in a, within about 7 miles, making this guy essentially nearly defenseless. When AI are controlling these guys, even at moderate skill level, it appears they can just see stealth. Why? Don't ask me. I assume this is what's happening. I assume it's not these uh, ground radars or hear this guy vectoring me on. That would be the other option. Uh, thing, but I think it's unlikely at these ranges. So it's a it's a thing, and we did not see this coming at all. Let's just check our ranges. Twenty two miles, and they were tracking us at this point. So something was going. Look at these guys; they were tracking us. So it's almost like they could see through the cell. Now, is that realistic in some way? Personally, I find it highly unlikely. Mainly because, like I said, if you fly this as a human, you just can't see these cars, which begs the question, we'll probably have to redo this at some point with Red 4 as humans, because it seems the radar is modeled more realistic in that case. So that guy there is firing at 14 miles. They're firing at us at 14 miles, and they shouldn't be able to get a track for about 7 miles. So there's definitely something weird going on. Anyway, let's see what happened. Uh... It's almost as if they were shooting at us, like kind of... Only semi-stealth planes. I said we held our own and we did some good fighting. Boom, Grump's down. Or Grump got merged by accident. And the SU-31s with what I'd consider a more realistic radar, I suspect, never even bothered vectoring to us. So that's interesting. Wow, look, I was getting chased by this guy all the time and I didn't even know. I was getting fired at, look. Evaded his missile. Oh, no, that's where I died. <laughs> Matrix merges with the pack far. Kills the pack far. It stayed alive, but it did actually die. It ran out of engine power and just stalled into the ground, so it did die. Then shot down by SU-35. Cannonball's down. Not much you can do about that. These improved adders are incredibly capable. In fact, they were actually using better missiles than us. Then the boys hooked up. Damp at this point has got no FCS, so he's got no or no nav, so he's just flying it like a Spitfire. That's the final one down, then they RTB. So, guys, uh, debrief notes, that was not what we expected. We expected it to be easy, and it was uh, almost impossible, hence losing four Raptors. Was it realistic? I would say no. 
because of what I explained in the, the AI version of the SU-35 can see us, it can just see us, and I'm pretty sure that wouldn't happen in real life, but a human version that you can fly cannot see us until very close. So, that said, I think the only way, I mean, it's fun and cool, but it, and like I said, you know, this is Grim Reapers, we do not script these things, they go as they go, we lose, we lose. Uh, the best thing to do would be to reenact or redo at some point in a bigger mission with humans on both sides to get a more realistic radar uh, strategy. Any complaints or anything to add, guys? Yeah, most of my uh, target acquisition was visual, particularly um, firing missiles. Marjorie, well, you've, um, got, you've got no excuse, Matrix, because you're, they're not, none of those guys, apart from the pack fire, none of those guys are stealthy, so you should have been able to see them. Yeah, I did pick them up on radar, but it wasn't tracking them solidly and right. i was engaging within visual range basically fair enough you know i personally think that's possible that's probably what will actually happen with a lot of modern combat well well done for limping back guys anyway and at least getting something back uh we'll try it again with lessons learned valued viewers the main grim reapers videos are now being split between this youtube channel and the grim reapers 2 youtube channel so if you want to see all of the grim reapers videos please consider subscribing to both channels and thank you for watching.